Hello children, once again we will continue with our lesson that is adaptations in animals. This is part 4. In the part 3 we have learned about the adaptation for food, right? Today we will discuss about the adaptation for hunting and also for the protection, right? So, here is the adaptation for hunting and protection. You know animals hunt because the carnivores, they eat other animals. So, they have to hunt the other animals. So, the hunter animals have adaptation to catch their prey. While the prey animals also have the adaptation to escape or defend themselves from the hunters. Of course, the animals, if they, if they see that the hunter animal is coming to catch, they will try to escape themselves, right, or defend themselves. So, they have got some kind of adaptation so that they can defend themselves, right. Here are the examples of deer and zebras. So, what are the adaptation? They can run very fast. If they see any animal coming to catch them, they can run fast and they can save themselves. Or they can escape from that animal. Okay. Next one. See here. Here is one another term which is new to you. Okay. And that is camouflage. I will explain what is it camouflage. Camouflage means some animals. They, they look similar to the surroundings. So that they can merge in that surroundings. And it becomes difficult to spot those animals that is known as camouflage right so some animals merge with their surroundings and then it becomes difficult to see these animals and this is known as camouflage the examples you can see very well in the in the photo in the picture you can see the stick insect this is an insect it is not just a stick but it it is looking like a stick Okay, the stick insect looks almost like a twig. Okay, it is just, we will feel that it is just a twig of some plant. Okay, but actually it is a insect and it is called stick insect because it looks like a stick. And if it is there on some brown uh, surrounding, then nobody can spot it as, the, as an insect. Okay, so... This is called camouflage. It can merge with its surrounding so that it becomes difficult to spot that animal or spot that insect. Okay. This is known as camouflage. Another example of camouflage is chameleon. Okay. The, the color of the skin of chameleons. You know the chameleon. You can see how green color it is. Oh, and it is on a on a plant okay so in the in the green color of the leaves the chameleon can hide itself right so that the color matches with the surrounding so this is how the color of the skin of chameleon helps them to escape nobody not the hunter animal cannot spot them okay and so th so that they cannot catch them or they cannot harm them and this is how chameleon can also escape itself. So how it can escape? Because of the color of the skin. It camouflages with the surrounding. Right? Another, and here, yes, camouf uh, chameleons also have the ability to change the color of the skin. If it goes on the ground, it can, it can change to the brown color or the color of the soil. Okay? So, that also helps them to camouflage. Another, see here, you can see the polar bear. Okay, and the white fur of the polar bear is matching with the surrounding of the snow. Okay, white fur and the snow is also white. So, it camouflages with the surrounding and it makes it difficult to spot the polar bear. Right, these are all the examples of animals who can camouflage see here another are the stripes of zebra and tiger okay you know the tiger has got stripes on its body 
even the zebras have got black and white stripes so because of these stripes <clears throat> they can they can they becomes uh, invisible uh, they becomes difficult to spot okay the <clears throat> color of the skin camouflages with the surrounding and in the surrounding grassland or forest and it becomes difficult for to spot them another example yes see this is another adaptation okay here this is not a camouflage this is another type of adaptation in this these animals have spines or shells on their body okay to protect themselves and the example is shown that is porcupine porcupine you can see in the picture porcupine have spines covering their body and in another picture on the right side of the picture you can see that lion is there and porcupine has uh, has got spines and because of those spines even the lion is not able to catch it so this is how it defend it protects itself right it protects itself from the from the hunter animal see here another example is of hedgehog this is the hedge of the picture of hedgehog on the left side and what it does whenever it senses danger it rolls up into a ball you can see on the right side it rolls up into a ball and it becomes difficult for the predator to attack it the animal cannot attack it because it becomes just like a ball okay and full it has also got some uh, spines like so hedgehog does like this to to protect itself right another example uh, is of tortoise and snails what they do they have got hard shells over their bodies okay that is hard covering of the shell hard shell okay and it has got soft body inside so their soft bodies can be protected under this hard shells so they protect their soft bodies by by the covering of the hard shells right okay see here another examples of animals is of rhinoceros and buffaloes what they do they use their horns to fight their enemies they have got big horns you can see okay so with these horns they can fight their enemies right this is how all these animals they defend themselves here, here is another example of <clears throat> of protection in this this is a picture of anim uh, animal called opossum okay and also some snakes what they do they tend to be dead when they are in danger you can see how it is lying as if it is dead this animal this is opossum picture of opossum it is lying it is lying just as it is a dead so but it is actually not dead it is pretending to be dead because it has seen some danger so they pretend to be dead when they are in danger okay see here here another example is of glow fish okay what does it do it, it blow itself it blow itself up to the twice its normal size it is a small but it's blow it, it blows itself to the twice its normal size then what happens it becomes it looks bigger it becomes it looks bigger and then it can scare away its animal because it is looking bigger and it can scare away its animal this is how it can protect itself okay another is an example of a flying fish okay it is known as flying fish because what happens what is what it does it jumps out of the water and glides by spreading its large fins okay it jumps out of the water and glides by uh, spreading its large fins this is how it can protect itself when enemy chases okay the flying fish flying fish protects itself like <clears throat> in this manner when it sees an enemy chasing itself okay so this is how all the animals 
have got some or other way of protecting themselves or defining themselves. So this is one kind of uh, adaptation to escape from the enemy, enemy animals or other enemies and it can protect itself. Okay, I hope you have understood this lesson. Okay, I shall give you revision in the next class. Until then, take care. Thank you.